are talking about chat GBT for listing descriptions. So instead of doing a poll like we normally do, I would love to do just an open discussion with you guys this morning. So what do you know about chat GBT? At R4, Nick Bailey did a, a little thing about it, which was pretty cool. You know, he just asked it a couple of questions. That's my first introduction to it. When he gave a description of it there, I really knew nothing. Okay. Anyone else? I have no idea what it is, Anna. Never heard of it. Is that the AI services that basically create stories? You're on the right track, Allie. Good way to describe it. Well, this might be some interesting news for you guys today. I can't believe you've never really heard of chat GBT. All right, let's get started. There was a class on it at R4 also. Like I took a little sidebar, but it, it's overwhelmed. It's a lot. So yeah. 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 Well, hopefully I can make it easier for you today and we'll just focus on um, listing descriptions specifically. So first we're going to go over what is chat GBT. I'll explain it to you in the most simplistic way possible. Um, we already did our open discussion and then how to use it for listing descriptions. As always, I'll give you guys some resources to follow up with after the meeting today. So what is chat GBT? I myself did not know what chat GBT actually, you know, the acronym actually meant. So it's chat generative pre-trained transformer. So <laughs> I don't know what that means, but um, I'm sure you might have clients in the future say, you know, is chat GBT going to put you out of business or blah, 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 the artificial intelligence. So it might be a, you know, an, a great opportunity for you guys to understand what chat GBT actually is. On the internet now, there's a lot of websites that have been trying to mimic chat GBT. So when I first originally months ago searched for chat GBT, there was a bunch of websites that came up and I'm like, okay, but which one is the one chat GBT? So the specific one that is chat GBT is called openai.com. It's not actually called chat GBT, but chat GBT is a functionality of openai.com. So ultimately what chat GBT is, is a natural language processing tool driven by AI technology that allows you to have human-like conversations. So Allie, you were on the right track when you said it kind of creates a story. So it's creating you a description, but it also allows you to kind of respond to that description and really make that description your own. So that's where we're going to end up using it for our listing descriptions today. All right. So there's a few functionalities in here that I just want to go over more specifically those limitations on the right. So it says may occasionally generate incorrect information. It's not human. It might pull in incorrect information from the Internet. Um, limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. So it has not pulled any more information from after 2021. So this is this has been around for a few years. We're really just hearing about it now as it becomes really trendy. So um, some of the other things, let's go over capabilities. Remember what users said earlier in the conversation. Crazy, didn't know robots could do that. Um, allow allows users to provide follow-up corrections. That's going to be key in the video that we go over. So if you ask it a question or tell it to write something, it'll give you a description and it'll allow you to follow up with that and make corrections on that description. Okay, are you guys ready to watch how we can do this for listening descriptions? Yep, let's get it going. Hello everyone and welcome. What I'm going to do today is take you through how to use OpenAI to write your listening descriptions, or maybe just clean up your Englishing, right? Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is just go to the website. And the website is very simple. It is openai.com. Click on that and you'll be brought to this beautiful looking website and go up to the top right and click on log in. For most people, the easiest way to do this is just to continue with Google. If you usually have a Google account, you have a Gmail account, just sign in with that. And it is pretty straightforward. Gets you in, 
It asks if you're a human. Yes, I am a human. And sometimes it asks you two or three times. Now, this is the welcome page for OpenAI. You can do a lot of things here, but the one place that I usually recommend people starting off with is going straight to the playground. And in the playground, you can write pretty much anything. And this is kind of fun if you want to say, please make this sound like it is written for a two-year-old. Uh, real estate photography is important because it helps sell homes faster. Okay, so we can go submit. And then here it is. In the green, it says it shows people what the house looks like so they can decide if it's the right home for them. All right, now let's take all this and say, please make this sound like it was written for a two-year-old. You can actually change that now and say for marketing. And then press submit. And now it's saying professional photos show potential buyers the beauty and potential of the home and can make all the difference in the sale. Quality real estate photography helps to create lasting impressions and make all the difference when it comes to selling your home quickly and for the best price. So a lot of this is just coming straight out of AI. It's taking the knowledge of what it has found on the web for real estate photography and how important that is. And it is creating text based on all that knowledge, data, whatever you want to call it. All right. This is all pretty simple. This is a great way to take a listing description that you've already made and make it sound better for marketing. You can also tell the prompt, say, okay, I want this done within 200 words or 380 characters or whatever your limitations are for your listing. The reason I like starting off with Playground is because you can just play with existing text that you have. So if you've written something, you're not quite sure if it sounds good or not, you can just throw it into here and have it make it sound better. But if you wanted to actually create stuff, go down to the bottom here and say, looking for chat GPT. I'm going to pause this real quick. So what he is currently in now is a little feature of open AI called playground. So exactly like he said, what the title of it is, you're just playing around with words in here. So in the next part, he's going to go over actually going into chat GBT and starting to create those listing descriptions. So I just wanted to make that clear. But if you wanted to actually create stuff, go down to the bottom here and say, looking for chat GBT, try it now. Click on chat GBT. And with chat GBT, you can say, I have a 2,500 square foot house with three bedrooms overlooking a lake. It has a great kitchen with stainless steel appliances and granite countertops, fully reno renovated in 2000. Nine, please write me listing description for real estate. Enter. See how that works. And here we go. This is crazy. So this is the AI writing out your description. So introducing a 2,500 square foot home, uh, boasting breathtaking views of a serene lake. This exquisite property features spacious bedrooms that offer unparalleled comfort and relaxation. As you step into the home, the first thing that captures your attention is the fully renovated kitchen equipped with top of the line stainless steel appliances, stunning granite countertops. The kitchen is a chef's dream come true, perfect for entertaining guests and family gatherings. The home has been meticulously maintained and renovated in 2009 to reflect contemporary designs and style. You guys get the hint, right? <laughs> so this is a really long description. And like he said before, you can make it say, I only want this to be, you know, 200 characters or 200 words, whatever it may be. But he didn't even put in the address, said, write me a description. And it basically just made you look like you have your master's degree in English, right? <laughs> That's crazy to me. This sounds so good. And Millie's like, wow. <laughs> He's going to walk through more details here. But how many of you guys think this is absolutely nuts? Because I am mind blown here too. 
Yeah. Awesome. I do. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on. Being a warm and inviting atmosphere. Of course, I didn't say any of that, right? ChatGPT just brought this in. Located in the sought after community, this home offers the perfect combination of luxury, comfort, and easy access to nearby amenities, schools, and transportation. Well, is that true? I don't know. We'll have to check that. Don't miss this opportunity to own this stunning home. Book your viewing today. Now, isn't that amazing? So ChatGPT brought all of this in. You can even say here, it's like, uh, make it sound more luxurious. And ChatGPT will do that, right? So the nice thing about ChatGPT is that it can create pretty much any text that you want. Great way to clean up the grammar, the text, the, the tone of your descriptions, but be sure to go over it once and it covers everything that is relevant to your listing. You can even add uh, things like also as nine foot ceilings and a double car garage. Can you please that into the description. Okay. And we'll keep on writing. Okay. So I'm going to pause that. It just wrote a description regularly. He asked it to create a description that sounded more luxurious for a luxury listing. Then he said, you know what? I want to market the fact that it has a two car garage. I want to market the fact that it has nine foot ceilings. And it went ahead and wrote that description in there itself. Yeah, this is going to save us a lot of time and money. And I would say it's much better than Nyla June, like by light years. Really? Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. I'll share my screen and we can try maybe if you have a current listing or a previous listing and we could try just by the address and see if it works that way. Go right ahead. Okay, 1418 Amanda Drive, Weddington, 28104, um, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, view of the lake, ranch, chef kitchen, double islands. Okay, let's say please write a listing description for real estate. So, so far it says, welcome to 1418 Amanda Drive, located in the highly sought after town of Weddington. This stunning ranch style home boasts four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, offering ample space and privacy for families of all sizes. Does that sound good so far, Millie? Sounds exactly like my home. As you step inside, you'll be greeted by a spacious and inviting living area. A lot of natural light. Um, the granite countertops, that's incorrect. I would have to change that to quartz. Okay, let's see if we could. Let's stop generating it now because it, it was still going. <laughs> so let's say take out granite countertops and add quartz. Whoop. But you know, Anna, they probably did pull that off the... Um, the internet, because we upgraded our kitchen, it, it, it did come with granite, but we changed it to quartz. We built the house. Isn't that crazy? Huh? Something went wrong. Okay. Well, it doesn't like my response. <laughs> Let's put this into like he showed us. We'll go back to the playground and we'll put this in here in quotes like he did before and now let's say at the bottom well he put his at the top please take out granite let's see if this works this one is much faster Mm -hmm. Island quartz countertops and top of the line appliances. We're limited to so many characters. Is it 400 characters or 300 characters or something like that's what our limit is. 
Yeah, I'm thinking about 400. Okay. Mm, please shorten this to 400 characters. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm cool. That's very cool. <laughs> okay, we are over our time today. So I'm not going to release this poll. We can just go ahead and have an open discussion. Are you going to start using chat GBT to write your listing descriptions? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. If we start using this, we just follow the link and it'll prompt us and you said it's free? It is free. For now. Okay. Yeah. For now. I'm yeah. signing up. <laughs> I mean, we will definitely find a way to monetize it at some point. So, yeah. Right. Um, I've already saved it on my favorite bar, so I'll have to figure this out later. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today. Other than that, I will see you guys next Wednesday and have a good rest of your day.